Hey everybody, this is Kevin from Kevin's Card Collecting. And we're going to give it a minute here and see if anybody comes online. It is Sunday afternoon. It's uh, about a quarter after two here on the West Coast. And I got some mail to open up. If anyone's interested, we could play a game of Home Run Derby. I've got a stack of cards here that we can use for the game. And... Oh, Sally's here. Hey, Sally. All the way from across the pond. That is so that is so cool how uh we can do this. And Sally, forgive me, but um I know you and Donald did that live stream the other day. I have not seen it yet, but I know you're on there and I'm I want to sit down and watch it when I can concentrate. And it's been kind of hectic around the house lately, so I want to do it when I can really enjoy it. But um, I know you're on with him, and I, I want to definitely go back and replay that video. I'm anxious to see that. So, um, Now, <clears throat> I'll kind of explain the background here. You kind of see a theme. Th these are all 90 upper deck cards. That's because I'm going to be opening up uh, nine packs of upper deck that I've got, 1990. So that's kind of a display as to what we may hope to get. Um, I obviously don't have all the good cards. I hope to add to that collection, obviously. But those are what I've got, so those are some that we're going to shoot for. Um, obviously, the King Griffith Jr. second year card. Uh, the way I've got this laid out, the back five cards on top, those are all Hall of Famers. So we've got the King Griffith Jr. There's like a special Griffey Jr. card. The Craig Biggio, the Kirby Puckett, and the Nolan Ryan. And then, additionally, I've got some other notables. They're not Hall of Famers, but they're notable players from the day. We've got Bo Jackson, uh, Jose Canseco, Mark McGuire, Mo, uh, Will Clark, and another Bo Jackson. So, those are some notables. But, uh, again, I don't have a whole lot of 90 upper deck in my collection, so I'm hoping that this stack will produce a lot of good stuff. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, good. You love upper deck. Good to hear. Yeah, there's something about uh, Upper Deck's photos. They always tend to take really good uh, snapshots for their cards. Uh, NASCAR's in the house. Welcome, welcome. That live stream was scary. I know, Sally. Um, trust me, I, I hear you. Anytime you do anything live and in a public forum, the nerves will really get you. But once you do it, and I'm sure you feel the same way once it's over, you look back and you're like, whew. You, you know, breathe a sigh of relief, but then you're happy you did it. You're so glad. And then you wonder, why didn't I do this earlier? Uh, that's how I felt when I got into the, the videos. Even filming a video that wasn't live would drive me nuts. Um, several of the videos that are early on in my uh, YouTubing career, um, what you're actually seeing is probably like the fourth or fifth take. Um, I would start recording and I'd start speaking. And I'm like, oh, no, I messed that up. So I'd stop and restart. Um, of course, once you start opening packs, you're kind of committed because you can't go back and reseal them for the sake of the video. So that's kind of the, the the breaking point. Once you get to the, the breaking the packs, you, there's no stopping. Um, and of course, obviously, um, as you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Baptist preacher part-time. I work full-time during the week, but on weekends, um, I do preach quite a bit at, the, at our church. And I'll tell you, getting up in front of the, the congregation, especially that first time, was nerve-wracking. My stomach was in knots. Um, I was almost nauseous. But once I did it, it's like, yeah, that was awesome. And then I wanted to do it again and again and again. And it's, it's kind of like a drug. And then you get addicted to it and you just want to keep doing more and more. So that's kind of the way I look at this, uh, this whole thing. Hey, Shane B., how you doing, brother? Glad you joined us. So I was just telling uh, Sally here, and NASCAR may have caught the, the tail end of it. Um, I do have some uh, mail that came. This is actually from a buy-in for Donald Blomdahl's. Uh, this was his 90 top cello packs that he opened up the other day. He just sent me my cards in the mail. I thought I'd run through those real quick. And then uh, I do have nine packs of Upper Deck 1990 that I want to open up and... What I've got displayed in the background here are some of the hits. Not all of them by any means, because I don't have much in the way of 90 upper deck. But these are some of the Hall of Famers that I've got in my collection. I uh, hope to pull some of those guys plus more. And then there's some other notable cards along the way. Um, 
One thing I want to share with you guys, kind of like an intro here before more people show up. Um, one of the things also, if you guys are interested in, I do have a set of uh, 2001 Series 17 Series 1 cards that I'd like to use to play a game of Home Run Derby. If any of you all are interested, we can we can play that game. And I, I've done a few of those games now. And if you don't know, I'll explain the rules later if we play it. But whoever wins the game wins these two unopened packs of 88 cards. One Donruss and one Tops. And I'll ship these out to you for free. Um, just It's just no buy-in, nothing. Just a, a fun little free game to play. So if, if we get enough people interested, we'll do that a little bit later on. And, uh, hey, Donald's in the house. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, Donald, I, I'm going to be opening your uh, pack of cards you sent me the from the 90 Top Cello uh, buy-in. I know you, you showed them once on your video, but I'm going to show them again on, on my end. And then uh, I feel like a broken record. I'm going to be opening up the Upper Deck 90 cards. I've got nine packs here to open up. And I've got some 90 Upper Deck on display for kind of what we're looking for, some of the big hits, some of the Hall of Famers that are in the back row. Um, you wouldn't know, know how to play. Oh, it's okay, Sally. Uh, actually, you don't do anything. You just sit back and, and root for your team. You'll, you'll be assigned uh, a few teams, and whoever ends up with the most points, and I'll explain that later on, will win. And if it happens to be your team, you'll get these two packs of cards. It ain't much, but it, you know, it's just a fun little thing we do. And then I've also, I picked these up at Walmart the other day, and I'm dying to open them up. They're on the clearance rack. I've got a 2018 Topps Gallery pack. I have no idea what all's in that. And then, uh, let's see, what year is this? Um, hmm, I don't even know what year this is. 2014. 2014 Donruss Series 2. And I found this just like I said at the, in the clearance rack at Walmart. So I want to open up those and kind of see what those are all about. So, uh, yeah, hey, uh, oh, Alex is in the house. Hey, Alex, good to see you. Kevin's card, new channel change, coming real soon, more and improved content. Uh, yeah, Donald, you know, um, maybe after the stream, I, I want to talk to you um, offline. Maybe I'll shoot you a, a message or something, but I, I want to discuss some ideas with you. Um, but yeah, and getting back to this, one thing I found out, and this is actually something that Donald shared with me, and I've taken it, and it, it works, but I want to share it. So anytime you open up a pack of cards, if you don't know what, like, for example, we're going to be opening up these nine packs of 90 upper decks. If you've never opened up a pack and you have no idea what's good, what's bad, who's in it, what what's available, Donald showed me this. Um, you go to the trading card database right here. And you can go to specific years and specific companies. And you can download, like for example, this is the rookies list. So I've got all the rookies, they're in order of card number, that are available in this particular set. Then uh, to save paper, printing it on the same page but upside down, uh, here's a list of the same year and make, but it's the Hall of Famers. So these are all the possible Hall of Famers that we could pull. So as I open these packs, I'm going to have this list set to the side, and I can use it as a reference to kind of help me out and figure out if I got anybody good or not. Like, for example, the other day I, was, I pulled a Ken Caminetti card out of an 89 Donruss, and I was so excited. All right, Ken Caminetti. I sleeved him up and everything because I thought he was a Hall of Famer. And Donald was quick to point out, no, he's a good player, but he's not quite a Hall of Famer. And sure enough, I went to the list, and he was not on the list. So lesson learned there. So I... I got the list ahead of time. Also, and this is just for fun, you're able to download the errors, any error cards that may have been produced. And let me show you, there's, I'm gonna turn my camera here so you can see the screen. So this is a list, let me scroll up to the top. So this is the list of the 90 Upper Deck errors and variation cards. So, and actually one of the more famous ones, and it'd be cool if we actually pulled it, but you see here this Ben McDonald, the error card would have the Orioles logo on the front. Then they corrected their error and started producing the right ones with the star rookie logo on the front. 
So it'd be cool to get either one of those cards, but it'd be really neat if we could get the error card. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, so this trading card database lists just hundreds, all the possible errors. And so what I did was last night, kind of when I was preparing for this, I pulled all the cards that I had and I sh let me let me go back. I want to show you something too. There's the error, there's the correction, but there's also something called, let me find one here, an uncorrected error. Let me see if I can find one. Uh, here's one, for example, this Kevin Mitchell card. He has an uncorrected error, the U is for uncorrected, the career home run total. So even though it's an error on the card, they never corrected it, so therefore 100% of the cards had the error in them. There was no correction made to it. So I went through my list of cards looking for any errors that I may have in what I have, and I didn't, fi I didn't find any you know, prominent error cards, but I did find some interesting things. And I made a list here. Let me show you, for example, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. my Bo Jackson card here. Let me zoom in here. Hopefully you can see it. Do you see under the batting average here for eight, 1989, it says 265. That should say 256. Um, that's an uncorrected error. They never fixed it, so 100% of his cards have that incorrect number there. That's, that's an example of an un uncorrected error. And then there was also something kind of interesting. Griffey Jr., is it this one? Yeah. So the back of the Griffey Jr. card... If you can read that little sentence, the very last line here, it says combination, because it's talking about he and his father playing together as a father and son, and it says combination to play simultaneously. The I in simultaneously should have been an E, so they misspelled simultaneously. I mean, that, it's amazing that people actually find those errors, but nonetheless, that's an error that they made, and it was never corrected. Um, I have no examples of, uncor of corrected errors, all I have is uncorrected, so um, maybe we'll get some in our hits. Who knows? You never know what you're going to get. Uh, let me catch up on the chat here. Hey, Mountain Gorilla. Uh, yeah, I understand. You got to run. T totally understand. Totally understand. Uh, I just got home from church myself. And I have to go back this evening for the night service. So what I like to do is I like to throw a little live stream in, in between the services. Because, um, yeah, Sunday is all about other priorities, much more important things. But uh, I'm glad you could join us, Mountain Gorilla. Good to see you. Yeah, let's see. We got six people watching. That's pretty cool. Uh, for the most part, I'm pretty sure everybody here knows everybody. Um, so, I, I mean, I'd recommend you subscribe to everybody if you haven't already, but you probably already have. However, let me point this out. It's possible that somebody that you think you subscribed to weeks and weeks ago, maybe months ago, is not on your subscribe list. I, I do occasionally run into that. I'll go to somebody's channel, and I'll be like, how come I'm not getting alerts to their new videos? And then I'll look up and see, oh my goodness, I'm not even subscribed to them. So... That's something that uh, it all happens to all of us. So, yeah, Shane B, the kiddos are napping. So, I mean, trust me, Shane B, I understand. In fact, as soon as I finish my live stream, I got to go catch a nap myself. Believe you me, that's on my agenda before I head out again tonight. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Donald, absolutely right. Family and church. Absolutely. That's that's number one. Yep. Yep, Donald, you have to subscribe the right way. That's right. Don't just subscribe and then forget about them. Subscribe to people and go back and view their content. Comment on their videos. Positive, good feedback. Don't just give a one-liner, you know, nice video, period. Say something about the video showing that you actually spent the time to watch it. That's very important. Uh, Mountain says, love seeing that Griffey card. Yeah, that's a that's a beautiful card there. You got a, you got a Marte yesterday? Uh, auto... Marte from good deal that's awesome that's very cool mountain gorilla so let me 
start setting some stuff aside here. Um, I'm not going to make a big deal about this. Donald, don't take offense, but these cards have already, already been displayed on your channel once when you cracked them open. But, um, let's see, I don't, I gotta be careful not cut into the cards, so I'll just trim it this way. So I hope everyone's having a good weekend. I, uh, I went to my very first card show yesterday. The local mall here in town hosted a, a card show, and a buddy of mine from church, who's a fellow card collector, went down together, and we spent, uh, most of the morning, in fact, all of the morning, hitting the booths and, and looking at stuff and buying some stuff here and there. Actually, you can get some pretty good deals at the at the card shows. I didn't realize it, but you can you can haggle with them a little bit over the pricing. So I, I think I came away with some good deals. Hey there, Dearman. Glad you joined us. Yeah, Donald, um, you have been the treasure trove of YouTube knowledge. And I'm guilty of not seeing everything you've put out. I, I just I need to find the time to sit down and study and concentrate and watch your videos in their entirety because you put out some wonderful uh, information there for all of us to learn from. So everybody, if you can, go to Donald's channel. Watch his live streams. They're phenomenal. Let's see. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm going to fly through these guys really quick because um, they've already been shown once on Donald's stream. But I'm not going to even call the names out. I'm just going to go through them unless I see something that really jumps out at me. Because if I do see a Padre, um, I'll definitely set it aside. Now, seeing as though these are 1990s, if I pull a Diamondbacks card... Um, I, I think something miraculous has happened because they didn't exist back then. So that's a nice card, the Sandy Koufax card. Actually, you know, you guys might find the humor in this, but I, I kind of made it a game yesterday when I got to... Uh, oh, let me see. Guy. Oh, okay, Shane. Thanks for stopping in, brother. I appreciate it. Sportsline is with us. Hey, Sportsline, how you doing? I haven't seen you in at least a week or two. I've been I was wondering about you. I've been hoping you're you're doing all right. I'm glad you joined us. And NZ Breaks is with us. That's good. Uh, oh, but I was telling you. So I made it a kind of a a game to go to all the booths. There's a Padre. I hit all the booths, and the guy who was you know behind the counter would say, "Can I help you? Are you looking for anything in particular?" I'd say, "Yeah." I'm looking for like mid to late 80s Diamondback cards. And just the look on their face was priceless. I, I, I wish I had a camera because they didn't want to insult me. But at the same time, they, they knew I was um, going to struggle to find any of those cards. And one guy's like, you mean Diamond Kings? Like Di Donruss Diamond Kings? I said, no, 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 Arizona Diamondbacks. And they kind of look around like maybe they were hearing things. It was kind of funny. 25 Perez is in. Coop's Cards is here. Good to see you guys. Okay, good, Sportsline. I'm glad you're doing good. Busy's good. It's always good to be busy. Hey, Benito. I PC him, actually. I'll, uh, I'll share a quick Benito Santiago story with you, actually. Back in 1991, I believe it was, um, a few people may know this. One of my other hobbies that I like to do is I fly radio-controlled airplanes. And uh, I've been doing that for almost 30 years now, maybe. Back in 91, the Padres uh, came to Yuma, where I lived, for their spring training. And Benito Santiago had just bought himself a model airplane, and he wanted to fly it. So he contacted the local hobby shop and 
and said, hey, I've got this plane. I don't know how to fly it. Can you put me in touch with anybody? So the hobby shop called a good friend of mine who was an instructor, a model plane instructor, and said, yeah, uh, this baseball player wants to learn how to fly. Would you meet with them and fly? For, so, of course, my friend was like, yeah. So, but then my friend called me and said, hey, why don't you come out? Um, a Padre is coming out to fly. So anyway, I went out there. That was a nice Will Clark card. So I went out there and uh, Doug Drabeck. Um, so I'm, yeah, I got to meet uh, Benito Santiago at the flying field, and we spent at least two or three hours together uh, flying model airplanes. And super, super nice guy. Very humble. He didn't act like a a showboat celebrity, you know, athlete. He just acted like a regular Joe. So that's my Benito Santiago story. So yeah, for any of you who just joined us, these are um these are all 1990 tops that came out of Cello Pack that I got from Donald from a box break last week. So he sent those to me, so I will get those sorted later and organized into my collection. Yeah, Mountain, uh, that he could throw just quick, instant, you know. Runner's going, snap that ball to second, get him out. Yeah, Sally, you know, how many of you guys um, ever watch a ball game and for whatever reason you take a liking to a particular player, be it his personality on the field or an interview, something he says, you're like, you know, I like that guy. You know, maybe he's a good family man or, you know, he's... He's strong in his faith, and he talks about his faith in Jesus and in interviews. You, you hear things about that like that, and it, it excites you, and you're like, all right, there's a good role model. So you want to read more about him, so you Google him, and you start reading more about him, and sometimes what you read about him is not good, and then it just started, sort of puts a bummer on things. It's like, oh, man, I wish I hadn't even read that now. You know, That's happened to me a few times, but for the most part, I think guys are genuine, and uh, they are who they appear to be. But every once in a while, yeah, not so much. So, I've got a bunch of stuff here I want to open. But let's see, we've got, how many people are in our stream? We've got 10 watching. Anybody here want to do a, uh, a home run derby game before I start opening packs? If we do that, I kind of like to do it early in the stream. While I've got energy. Because <laughs> I, I am exhausted. I was up till a little after 2 a.m. this morning sorting cards and stuff that I'd gone through at the uh, card show. And then, of course, got up early this morning to go to church. So I, uh, I am beat. Dearman says no. Okay. Dearman doesn't want to play. Dearman is quitting YouTube. Why is that, Dearman? Yes? What's up, Dearman? Huh, that's not what you want to hear. <laughs> oh. What is going on in my background here? Trying to get my home run derby spreadsheet up and running. Okay, Sally wants to play. Uh, Alex wants to play. Dearman, I want to. I'm going to say that means want. Dearman, I'm going to guess. Dearman wants to play. Um, Dearman's asking how much. It's not no no cost. It's a free little game. No no buy in. Uh, Isaac said, okay, so let me, let me explain the rules here. First of all, there's no cost. It's a free buy-in. The winner will win a couple, uh, packs of cards that I'll send out to you for free. Um, 
But here's the way the rules go. So I've got all 30 teams on a spreadsheet here. Okay, so you can see the left column's got all the teams from the Angels alphabetically all the way down to the Yankees. I've got 10 players listed on the top. Normally we don't get that many cards from that particular team, but in case we do, I've got up to 10 slots. Everybody in, in the chat that wants to play is going to be assigned a team. So I'm going to type your name, and I'll use the randomizer, and everyone's going to get a team. Now, obviously there's, what, 10 people watching. We've got 30 teams, so theoretically we can give three teams to everybody. So you'll have three teams on this list that you're assigned to. Then what I do is, let me adjust the camera. I'm going to open up this pack of 2017 Series 1, and we're going to go through the cards one by one, and we're going to look at the home run stats for each player that has home run stats. And like, let's say I pull a Pirates batter, and he's got 30 home runs. And it's, by the way, it's total home runs in their major league career. Not this year or last year, in their entire career. So let's say the Pirates player has 30 home runs. I will put 30 home runs in the Pirates box. And then I pull the next card and I add up his and we just add them all the way to the end until there's a team total. So it's it's fairly straightforward and once we get going you'll get a better feel for it. Um, but the rules are though, there are a couple exceptions. Special insert cards do not count. I only use the base cards that have the standard statistics printed on the back. And pitcher's cards do not count. Um, so far, I've never even seen a pitcher's card that has a home run column. And even if they did have a home run, one or two is not going to amount to anything compared to the 30s, 40s, sometimes over 100 that some of the other players are getting. So I just don't count special insert cards or pitcher cards. Everybody else is fair game. So, oh, Sally, don't say you're not likely to win. It's all, it's, it's basically luck. That's, that's what it comes down to, but it's a fun thing. Uh, I've done this a couple times now, and a couple, a couple winners, and everyone seems to enjoy it. Um, my, now, Mountain Gorilla, that I, I really appreciate you saying that, but I, I think it's a little exaggeration. It's, it's fun. I don't know if it's the most fun, but it, it is fun. Uh, so, with that being said, go ahead and chat amongst yourselves, guys. Um, I'm going to bring up the list of participants in the chat. And I'm going to plug all those names into my spreadsheet. So, so far, these are the names that are going on the list. Except me, of course. I'm not going to do that. But So bear with me, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, hey guys, so I got all the names typed in here. Look at this list here, and tell me, if your name is not on that list, just let me know in the chat, and I'll, uh, I'll get you added. But so far I've got seven people that are actively participating in the chat, so those are the names i got to run with, and I'm sorry I lost the, the list. There we go. Okay, we've got a couple of additions. Hey, uh, Big Country's Wheelhouse and Breeze Cards and Cause. You guys want in on this game? 
It's free. It doesn't cost anything. Good chance, uh, chance to win a couple unopened packs of 88 Donruss and Tops. Tell you what, I'm going to add you guys, unless you say no, I'm going to add you in. So Big Country's in, and Breeze is in. Okay, anybody else I'm missing? It'd be nice if we could get one more. It'd be a nice even 10. That way I could give everybody three teams. And, uh, and just so you guys know, the randomizer is going to assign you teams, by the way. So I, I, can't, I can't give you a specific team. Um, I know Dearman's asking for the Phillies, but I, I can't control that. Oh, KB, perfect. We There's our 10th participant. KB, you're playing a game, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Let me add you here. Yeah, KB, we're just playing the Home Run Derby. It's free, no buy-in. And a chance to win a couple packs of cards. So with that being said, let me get these 10 names. Oh, did I not get cause? Cause, okay, I'll get you in, cause. Sorry about that, cause. I'm just going to put cause. Okay. All right, anybody else that I'm missing? No? Okay, so I'm going to take these 11 names. And put them in my randomizer. And I always do things in seven, so I'm going to randomize seven times. So here's, here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and last final randomizing is this one. Okay, so I'm going to take these names, copy them, go back to the score sheet. And plug in the names. Okay, there's one list, and I'm going to take uh, paste it again, and one more time. So there's three overflows that unfortunately don't get teams, but you guys have two teams. So there we have it. So there's the list. <clears throat> Everybody can see who their teams are. Let me scroll a little bit. Okay. So with that, now I can go back. To, I want to see my chat in the background, so let me get that going. And then the game sheet. Uh, Donald said, uh, sorry, Donald, I've already, I wish I'd seen that earlier. Give my nationals to... Okay. Donald wants these to go to Dearman. Okay.
Okay. Sorry guys, I know this is not a perfect science and it's not the, the most fair game in the world, but um, I, I, I do the best I can and the fairest I can with what I'm given. So um, don't beat me up too badly. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, Alex, you got, let's see, the Cubs and the Yankees. And the Phillies. Alex got the Cubs, Phillies, and Yankees. All right. So without any further ado, we'll go and crack the pack open and get started. So again, the winner is getting these two packs right here. These are going to the winner. And if the winner wants them opened on this stream, I'll, I'll open them up and then send them to you, or I'll send them to you sealed and let you have the fun of opening. Either way, it's fine with me. So again, guys, remember, special ins insert cards and pitchers do not count toward the game. It's only... Um, non-pitchers, base cards with the standard stats on the back. Okay. So first up, we've got a Miami Marlin, a Denny Echeverria. Here, let me turn on some more light. Hopefully this will help you guys see the cards. There we go. All right, uh, a Demi Echeverria for the Marlins. He has total home runs, 14. So I go to the Marlins tab and give him 14. So that's Sally. Starts off with 14 home runs. Okay, then we've got John Segura of the Diamondbacks with 43 home runs. So the D-backs get 43. That goes to NZ Breaks. Brewers, Wiley Peralta, that's a pitcher, so we skip him. Kevin Gossman of the Orioles, pitcher, skip him. Wilmer Flores of the Mets, who is now a Arizona Diamondback, go D-backs. He has, as of 2017, 39 home runs. So Mets get 39. Uh, pitcher for the Rockies, Matt Carasidi. George Soler of the Cubs. 27 to the Cubs. Uh, pitcher Liam Hendricks of the Athletics. Homer Bailey of the Reds. Felix Hernandez of the Mariners. Shin Su Chu of the Rangers, outfielder. And he, wow, guys, Rangers, 146 homers. Rangers, 146. Big country. Big country gets a big number. All right, then uh, we've got a Pirates, Neft, Neftali Feliz, pitcher. Jose Berrios of the Twins, pitcher. Seth Smith of the Mariners, outfielder. 113 to the Mariners, 113 to the Mariners. No, nah, don't fear, Sally. It ain't over yet. It don't. It ain't over yet. I, I want to say last game we played, uh, the winner had four a uh, four hundred like four hundred some in his career, and it just blew everybody out of the water. So it ain't over yet. Uh, Anthony Rizzo, league leader. This is a an insert card, so there are no stats to read from on that one. Uh, Lance McCullers, pitcher of the Astros. No stats. Here's a special Mother's Day card. For Ian Kinsler of the Detroit Tigers. Uh, 
Uh, Mookie Betts, insert card. First pitch, Brett Eldridge. I don't know who that is. Anybody know who Brett Eldridge is? What his claim to fame is? Um, looks like he's a singer of some sort. Never heard of him. Uh, Terry Francona of the Indians. Manager of the Year Award. There's a nice old throwback. Roberto Clemente of the Pirates. That's a nice card. All right, back into the standard cards. We've got Archie Bradley of the D-backs. He's a pitcher, so he doesn't help out. Jason Grilly of the Blue Jays. Baltimore Orioles team card. Arizona D-backs team card. I like that one. I likey, likey. Oh, he's a country singer, guys? Cool. Uh, Blue Jays team card. Look at that. Three team cards in a row. Chicago Cubs World Series highlights card. All right. Now we get to back to some stats here. Cleveland Indians, Brandon Geyer. Uh, he gives 23 home runs to the Indians. Pitcher Chris Capuano. Capuano. A lot of pitchers in this pack, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, looky, looky. Aaron Drudge rookie card. New York Yankees. Unfortunately, <laughs> it was his rookie year, so he's only giving out 56 homers. Wow. But 56 to the Yankees, not a bad not a bad card, not a bad number. But uh, yeah, that is a nice card. Aaron Judge rookie card. Uh, Josh Tomlin of the Indians, pitcher. Uh, Angel Pagan, Pagan of the Giants, outfielder. So the Giants are going to get some here. Giants are going to get 64. Uh, Alex Colom of the Rays, pitcher. Another pitcher, Fernando Rooney. Uh, sorry, Rodney. Oh, he's the hey guys. Uh, pitcher for the Nationals, right? He pitched last night. I think they said he's the oldest ball player in Major League Baseball right now at the age of 42. But uh, back in 2017, he was with the Marlins. As Drupal Cabrera, I'm sure I butchered that name. As as Drupal, yeah, Cabrera. Hey, isn't he the Cabrera from uh, the Nationals also? Mets, hundred and twenty-five more to the Mets. Ah, uh, that helps actually, guys, because the Mets already had thirty-nine. So adding one twenty-five. Puts them at 164. So now the Mets have the lead. And that's Mountain G. Mountain G, you just took the lead thanks to Mr. Cabrera here. And then pitcher, Keon Keela of the Rangers. And lastly, a Braden Shipley of the uh, Diamondbacks pitcher. So that's it, guys. So the total, that last second pull with Cabrera... Let me look at all the numbers here just to verify. Uh, 27, 43, 64, 113. Yeah, 164 to the Mets. Mountain G is the winner. Mountain G with 164. Good deal, Mountain Gorilla. Congratulations. So I don't think I have your contact info. So... Um, Actually, I've been kind of wanting it anyway because we need to exchange correspondence. But shoot me an email, Mountain, and uh, I will with your address, and I'll ship those right out to you. Let me type in my address here, real quick. 
Yeah, Donald, if you can, ring that bell for us. I don't have a bell, but you can ring it. <laughs> Okay, Mountain Girl, I just put in my email. And if, if you lose it or forget it, it's in my About Me tab on my uh, YouTube homepage. Um, so now I have to ask the question to Mountain Girl, do you want me to send you these packs unopened and allow you to open them on your end, which I'm more than willing to do, or I can open them here for you? Okay, Mountain Gorilla wants them opened up now, so I will open these up. I'll, I'll, I'll put them back in the package as best I can, uh, and then I'll ship them to you that way. Um, so let's see. We'll start out with the Donruss, see what you get here. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. Sorry about that. And then let me get my... Computer. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. All right. So, Mountain Grill, these are your cards. This is what's coming out to you. Kent Herbeck of the Twins. Stan Jefferson of the Padres. There you go. Jay Howell of the Athletics. Kurt Ford. Pete O'Brien. Bill Wegman. Pat Perry. Angel Salazar. Eric Davis. Marvell Wynn, it's a Padre pack. Mike Pagliarulo, Terry Pendleton, two more guys, John Cerruti, Sid Bream, and Floyd Humans. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't say that was a stellar pack, but it was a pack. All right, and then on to your 88 tops. I do like how clean these packs open up. Let's see. All right. Oh, there's a very nice uh, Turn Back the Clock card for Nolan Ryan. Matt Young of the Dodgers. Dave Anderson of the Dodgers. Glenn Wilson of the Phillies. Jeff Ballard of the Orioles. Mel Hall of the Indians. Bill Allman of the Mets. Tommy John. Of the Yankees. You hear his name quite a bit with the the uh, surgery that players are undergoing. Uh, there's that insert card. Willie Upshaw of the Blue Jays. Len Sakata of the Yankees. Chuck Krim of the Brewers. Chet Lemon of the Tigers. Terry Kennedy of the Orioles, also a Padre. And two more to go here. Steve Shields of the Mariners. And Greg Harris of the Rangers. Uh, sorry, Mountain. I don't think we pulled any anyone too notable. But regardless, I mean, considering what you paid for him, 
No, that was fun. So, like I said, shoot me an email, and uh, I'll get these right out to you, and we'll go from there. So let me see. Let me get caught up. I've been kind of ignoring this chat here. Um, let's see. No, no more giveaways today, German. I'm gonna open up some packs though. We are gonna have some fun looking for some uh, for some hits. Nice Ryan. That was a nice Ryan card. I've never seen that Ryan card before. Uh, a lot of Dodgers. Yay. Okay. No, Dearman. I I just said no more no more giveaways today. Um, that home run derby game is, <laughs> at least for my end, it's a lot of work trying to coordinate a lot of things at the same time. Um, a lot of multitasking. But uh, so that was fun. So now I want to open up, uh, set those aside. I've got nine upper deck packs I want to get through. And we're looking for at least uh, the Hall of Famers, if not any rookie cards that I've got on my list here. So I'm going to keep this handy. And then I also want to open up these two packs that I got at Walmart the other day. A 2018 gallery and a 20... Oh, I've already forgotten. 2014 uh, Donra Series 2 pack. So, tell you what, what do you guys want to see first? These two packs or take the time to go through the upper decks? First answer gets it. First answer, uh, that's what we'll do. Upper deck. Alrighty, there it is. Uh, Dearman, I'm not selling any cards, buddy. No, Dearman, like I said, the only thing I'm giving away, I was sending these two packs out to the winner of the Home Run Derby. Okay, so Upper Deck, we're looking for Hall of Famers, uh, specifically some of those guys in the back row there. And then some more notables, non-Hall of Famers that are in the bottom row. And maybe even some error cards, because there are quite a few errors that came out in this uh, series. Let me set this aside. So, starting off, Upper Deck 1990 cards. First pack, we got a Charlie Hoff of the Rangers. Oh, it's going to be one of those packs, I think, huh? Uh, Craig Lefferts of the Giants. Barry Lyons of the Mets. Chris James of the Padres. And I will say, guys, I'm happy that these, these cards are not sticking at all. There's no issues at all with the stickage here. It just They were obviously well-preserved. Eddie Murray. There's a Hall of Famer. Set him aside. Okay, Bob Ojeda, the Mets. John Farrell. Let me see something real quick. Uh, Donald. Okay, yeah, Donald, I'll, I'll give you a buzz here after a bit. Uh, Matt Winters of the Royals. Oh, here's our little special insert sticker. It's going to be the Pirates. Cool. Chad Cruder of the Rangers. Jack Armstrong of the Reds. Hey, hey, there we go, guys. Mark McGuire. Not a Hall of Famer, but it's it's a hit. So I will set him aside. As you can tell, it doesn't take much to get me excited. <laughs> Pretty easy to please. Um, I just remember as a kid when I would get Meguiar's and Conseco cards, I was just like a kid on Christmas morning. I loved it. Okay, Mark uh, Carrion of the Mets. Jeff Parrott of the Phillies. 
And who is that? Well, there's the uh, Jim Eisenreich of the Royals. Uh, who is this? It's a Texas... Oh, Julio Franco. That's where they put the name. So, a Texas Rangers card. Julio Franco. Hey, Bobby. Glad you could join us. We're just opening up a stack of 90, uh, 90 upper deck cards, looking for some Hall of Famers and some rookies. Me too, Kevin. That's why I like you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. I hear you. Great minds think alike, Mountain. So here's pack number two. I'll admit, when I first saw that, I thought it might have been, might have been Biggio. Because it kind of looks like the card in the background there, but not quite. Uh, Danny Darwin. Here, let me set... My base cards there, and my hits there. Okay, uh, Danny Darwin of the Astros, Steve Lyons of the White Sox, Luis Rivera of the Red Sox, Craig Worthington of the Orioles. Well, Thompson of the Cardinals. Don August of the Brewers. Scott Bankhead of the Mariners. Tim Burke of the Expos. And our insert team is the Reds, Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Steve Bedrosian of the Giants. Ramon Martinez of the Dodgers. Terry Francona of the Brewers. Corey Snyder of the Indians. Greg Minton of the Angels. And a Milwaukee Brewers card with, is that Robin Yunt? Yep, Robin Yunt on the front. That's a nice one. You know, I'm going to set that in the hit. I wonder, I honestly don't know, is this Griffey Jr. card the team card? It is. You know, I did not re even realize that. So that's cool. So that is a Hall of Famer. I've got uh, two Hall of Famers so far. And a really good player. And then i got a Gary Sheffield here with the Brewers. All right, pack number three. A th this will be a third of the way through it. Scott Bradley of the Mariners. Carlos Martinez of the White Sox. Jesse Barfield of the Yankees. Pasquale Perez of the Expos. Yeah, that's a better picture. Uh, Eric Hansen to the Mariners. Bill Buckner of the Royals. Guillermo Hernandez of the Tigers. Uh, Rod Nichols of the Indians. And the insert hologram is the Rangers. Uh, Walt Terrell of the Yankees. John Orton of the Angels. Tommy Gregg of the Braves. Robbie Thompson of the Giants. That's an awkward photo. Hmm. Uh, who do we got here? A team card. 
Is that going to be Kevin Mitchell of the Giants? Is that Kevin Mitchell? It is Kevin Mitchell. Yes, it is. And, oh, guys, look at that. Nolan Ryan, 5,000 strikeout card. And that's not like a team card. That's that's a Nolan Ryan card. So, I've never seen that one before. That's a cool one. And Wally Whitehurst of the Mets. In fact, I'm going to... I need to start sleeping these up as I get them. All right, so we're a third of the way through. Yeah, we got six more to go. Hey, Sally's back. Yeah, you didn't miss much, Sally. No worries. We're just, we're finally getting through these upper decks now. Mike McFarland of the Royals. Fred Manrique of the Rangers. Gus Polidor of the Brewers. Bill Landrum of the Pirates. Ken Daly of the Cardinals. Mickey Tettleton of the Orioles. Hey, hey, hey. Ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. Randy Johnson of the Seattle Mariners. Shout out to Donald Blondahl for his Mariners, but that is a beautiful Randy Johnson card. I do not have that card in my collection. Because if I did, believe you me, this card would have already been sitting back there in the back. For sure. So... Let me give Mr. Johnson the respect he deserves. Tuck him in nicely into the safety blanket. And I will set that aside later on. Uh, Jay Bell, he ended up being a Diamondback. That's how I know of him. And our insert is Donald Donald. This is two shout outs to Donald. Seattle Mariners. Very cool. <laughs> Donald, ding, 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 ding. Yes, sir. And Alex has got, he's got the sirens going. Don Robinson. I'll be honest with you guys. If I don't get any hits for the rest of the, what, five or six packs, I'm happy with that right there. That, that made my day. That's a good one. Uh, Don Robinson of the Giants. Greg Litton of the Giants. Mike Felder. Uh, okay, so this brings up a question I've asked before, does, and nobody seems to know the answer. When a card company is going to produce a card for a player, do they show the players the cards before they produce them? Like, did, the, did Mr. Felder here have the opportunity to review that and say no i don't want that for a card or do they have the rights to just produce it without permission because you see a lot of funny pictures sometimes and i can't imagine that the players would want some of those poses per se makes you wonder george brett there we go i do not have mr brett in my collection either Sweet. Yeah. I still like Randy better. No no offense, Mr. Brett. Bobby says they should have taken the picture when the bubble pops. 
<laughs> I know, right? And what if he had like, um, well, he has a little bit of a mustache. But can you imagine some of the, the beards that the guys are wearing now? The full-size like Duck Dynasty beards and a big bubble. If it were to pop and get all in that and get all messy. Ugh. And then to get the photograph of that for your card, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> Funny. Uh, Sally says he must have known that was taken, though. Maybe. I mean, he, I don't know how far away the camera is. I'm sure he saw the camera. Yeah, he probably saw the camera. Uh, Willie Fraser of the Angels. Uh, two more here. We got Jim Gott of the Pirates. And Tim Raines. There we go. Hall of Famer Tim Raines of the Expos. All right, now we're picking up the pace. A little rough going there at the start. A little slow going. But we're getting getting some good cards now. Alex, true that, especially the Acuna blow. Uh, you know, I've heard other people reference that Acuna bubble, but I've not seen it, I don't think. I'd have to Google that image and see it. Yeah, I'm missing out on the fun not knowing what that picture looks like. Israel Sanchez of the Royals. Chet Lemon of the Tigers. Dan Plesak of the Brewers. I see a Hall of Famer back there. John Costello of the Cardinals. But there it is. Kirby Puckett of the Twins. And that'll go nicely with my uh, team card Kirby Puckett that I've got back here. Yeah, you know what would make a nice setup is if you, if you get, like, the base card next to the team card. Base card, team card. And, um, what else did I have? Uh, if I could get the Robin Yunt base card, that would make a nice display. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Yeah, nice Tim Reigns. That is a nice Tim Reigns card. Carney Lansford of the A's. Randy Kramer of the Pirates. Jack Morris of the Dodgers. Um, Dodgers. <laughs> I saw the D. Um, what do you call that team? Detroit Tigers. Thank you. Whew. I need my nap. Like I was telling you guys earlier, I was up till 2. I got up early this morning for church, and it's been nonstop ever since. And uh, I'm dying for a nap. Uh, who do we got? Toronto Blue Jays hologram sticker. Uh, Paul Ossenwalker of the Cubs. Eric Hetzel of the Boston Red Sox. Shout out to Philip Oldenburg. He's a big Red Sox fan. And a good guy, too. I like Philip. Danny Jackson of the Reds. Hey, here we go, guys. Gary Carter. I told you my momentum is picking up here. They're getting better and better. Very nice card. 168. Let me just verify. Yep, he's on my list. Oh, okay, now they're saying that there's an error and a correction card for him. So just for fun, I'm going to see what the error is listed on the website. So bear with me. Let me go back to my... Here, I'll, I'll let you follow along here. So it's card 168. See, here's the card. Oh, why is it blurring? 168. So then you go to the Trading Card Database uh, website, and you go to 168. Uh, there it is. Okay, so the error says no copyright date on the back. 
the corrected card has the copyright date on the back. So let's look at the card and see if there's a copyright date. And there is right there. Copyright 1990 Upper Deck. So this is a corrected card. This is not the uh, error. So still kind of cool looking at that stuff. It's like solving a mystery. Alex, you're a... Oh, oh wait. No, Sally said that's one of my teams, the Blue Jays, is it? And Alex asks, is it Blue Jays sticker? Yeah. Can you guys see it? Well, you can see it's like a mirror. You can see me in the background, too, with my phone. <laughs> All right, let's see. Who do we have here? The team card for the Tigers. And I don't know who that is. Lou Whitaker. Lou Whitaker. He is not a Hall of Famer, but it's still a nice card. And we've got a Norm Charlton of the Reds. And Kelly Mann rookie card. Kelly Mann rookie card. I can't say I've ever heard of Kelly Mann. Okay, four packs to go. Plugging away. Grant Nicklin's in the house. What's going on? Uh, Grant, we just played a home run derby game. Mountain Gorilla won it. So that was fun. And now we're opening up some 90, uh, 90 upper deck cards. Looking for rookies and Hall of Famers. So we got a Bruce Ruffin of the Phillies. Norm! <laughs> That's a good one, Mountain Gorilla. That's, that was part of the, the best part of the show. Every time Norm would walk in, Norm! Classic. Uh, Alex says, Kevin, the Gary Carter card, if it has no copyright, does it mean it's a valuable card? Uh, yeah, typically, Alex, the error cards are going to have more value to them than the standard uh, correct card. Uh, those packs, when you open, I, I opened one up before, they sound like plastic. Yeah, it's it's a foil. It's like a foil paper, German. If you ever mess with aluminum foil in the kitchen, it's kind of like the, the coating they put on top of the paper. Yep, everybody loves Norm. I agree, Sally. Good old Norm. Bruce Ruffin of the Phillies. And we got Jerry Roos, Russ of the Brewers. Brian Dubois, or as some people say, Dubois. Brian Dubois. Dearman, the noise is annoying sometimes. Well, you can turn your volume down. There's a Walgreens around the corner from my house, so they always have the football boxes. They always have six football boxes when they get new stock, and I only get three baseball boxes. I've noticed that, too. My Walgreens typically has more football cards in stock uh, than baseball because the baseball sells quicker because I believe the baseball is more popular. Yep. Don Asse of the Mets. Mackie Sasser of the Mets. Tim Cruz of the Dodgers. Pete Harnish of the Orioles. Dave Anderson of the Dodgers. There's a nice one, Will Clark. See, and I've got him in my little setup back here. There's Will the Thrill. So let me throw a, a little blankie over him. 
keep him nice and warm for these winter months. Uh, Brady Anderson of the Orioles. Tim Wallach of the Expos. Dave Clark of the Indians. Uh, Pasquale Perez. Oh, we, we pulled that one earlier. I remember that hairdo. Uh, Gary Pettis of the Tigers. And a checklist. Yay for the checklist. Why don't a lot of those people know how to smile? I'm sick of broading looking baseball players. You know, it, it's so funny. More and more nowadays, so much more is expected out of the players. You know, before you, you did your job, you went and you played ball and you got paid for it. Now you've got to have good public relations. You've got to have a good PR side to you. You need to be able to speak well for interviews. Um, and what really cracks me up is if anybody ever watches NASCAR, those poor drivers, they get out of the car after driving how many hundreds of miles. They're exhausted. They're sweating. They're just dehydrated. And they got to get out of the car and give an interview. And they got to speak Clearly, they need to um, punctuate and pronounce everything just perfect. Then they got to rattle off all their sponsors, and heaven forbid they forget one of the sponsors. You know they, that's financial loss for them. So they're no longer just athletes. They're no longer just you know doing what they're famous for doing. They got to have a good PR demeanor to them. Okay, Kevin Bass of the Astros. John Smiley. Well, there you go, Sally. See? There's smiles in the game. There's smiles. Although, not even Mr. Smiley is smiling. A man that does not live up to his name. Just saying. John Sarudi of the Blue Jays. Ed Whited, White, Whitehead, I don't want to say Whitehead, Whitehead, Witted, I don't know. Mike Moore of the A's, <laughs> but they still can't smile. I know, Sally. Oh, there's a smile, Sally. Storm Davis, smiling for Sally Lloyd. Mike Fitzgerald. He's kind of half grinning. He's just happy he caught the ball. Saruti was a good pitcher, was he? Joe Hesketh of the Expos, another Expos. And our insert sticker goes to the Expos. Look at that. Three Expo cards in a row, and then we pull an Expo sticker. There I am in the background. My ugly mug. Rick Lucan of the Royals. John Orton of the Angels. Ah, get back there. Willie Randolph of the Dodgers. Willie Randolph. Devon White. Of the A's. Gene Nilsson of the A's. I'm sorry, I said Devon White of the A's. He plays for the Angels. It's a different A. Gene Nilsson of the A's. And then Ron Jones of the Phillies. And Greg W. Harris. Not just Greg Harris. This is Greg W. Harris of the Padres. I've never seen a middle initial thrown in like that before. Uh, Ken PC, hey there, how you doing? Glad you could join us. I 
I still enjoy your uh, your little short devotional videos, Ken PC. I, I sincerely mean that. They're a great way to start off the day. Uh, Dave Bergman of the Tigers. Alvin Davis of the Mariners. Larry Anderson of the Astros. I know Mountain, right? Come on, Griffey. Come on, Griffey. Mariano Duncan of the Reds. Jim Eisenreich of the Royals. Stan Javier. Steve Searcy of the Tigers. Daryl Boston of the Chicago White Sox. He's thinking about something. He's like, hmm. He's thinking, when I left the house this morning, did I turn off the iron? Hmm. Oh, there's our insert. Another Blue Jays sticker. Hmm, back-to-back -back Blue Jays. All right. Joey Cora of the Padres. Baseball uniforms still remind me of pajamas. The newer ones do. Uh, the older ones were a little tighter fitting. And uh, remember they used to all wear the stirrups on their socks? You don't see those anymore. Now you get full length uh, leg sleeves all the way to the, the shoe. But uh, I remember playing ball as a kid. I always had to put on my socks and then pull up the stirrup. That was part of the uniform. Uh, Bill Wegman of the Brewers. Scott Sutter, uh, Scott Scudder of the Reds. Dwight Evans of the Red Sox. And Sammy Sosa rookie card. I didn't know he was in this set. Sammy Sosa, number 17. Well, he's not a Hall of Famer, but he does show up on my... See my handy-dandy little chart here. Card 17. Sammy Sosa, rookie card. And he has an uncorrected error card as well. Uncorrected, which means the error is on this card. So let's go back to our little... Um, I like solving mysteries, so let's see what the error was. Okay, so card 17. And let me scroll all the way back to the top. Huh. There is no 17. That's strange. 17. It's a Sammy Sosa uncorrected error. Are you taking off, Mount Grill? Okay, buddy. Hey, don't forget to shoot me an email. Shoot me an email with your uh, mailing address, and I'll get that right out to you. Well, I have no idea what makes this a uh, uncorrected error since the sheet doesn't show what the error is. That's unusual. All right. Uh, we got a Jim Presley of the Mariners and a Phillies team card with Vaughn Hayes on the front. Yeah, Donald, it was uh, never corrected. That's why I had uncorrected error, but they don't say what it is. Alrighty, our last pack of Upper Deck 90 for the day. And then I'm going to hit those clearance packs that we got from uh, Walmart the other day. So come on, Griffey or Biggio or Ryan or even a Jackson or a Conseco or another. Well, I've already got a McGuire, so I shouldn't be too greedy on that. But uh, something good. Let's finish on a good note here. All right, Scott Fletcher, the White Sox. Oh, Alex, hold it up again. Which one, the, the Sosa? 
I hold the front up, but the air is more than likely on the back. There, you guys can go back and freeze frame that, that screen if you need to study it but more. But yeah, I don't know what the... Alex saying that, you don't think that's Sammy Sosa? I think it is. Yeah. He just looks younger. See, that's the thing. Rookie cards are very deceptive because they were so young back then, and they're at that age where, you know, their bodies change, their faces change pretty quickly. So it doesn't take much for a rookie card to look like a different person than what we know them to be. All right, Scott Fletcher of the White Sox. Claudel Washington of the Angels. Dan Plesak of... Sorry, of uh, the uh, Brewers. I wasn't in frame there for a second. Dickie Thon of the Phillies. Mickey Hatcher of the Dodgers. Another checklist. Yay, checklist. Uh, Norm Charlton of the Reds. Charles Hudson of the Tigers. And our insert is, come on, come on, D-backs, come on, D-backs. <laughs> no, Oakland Athletics. Okay, you all know I'm kidding, right? I don't want you all to throw a bunch of comments. You dummy, there were no D-backs back then. Pete Smith of the Braves. Steve Farr of the Royals. Brian Holton of the Orioles. What? Yeah, Royals on the... Wait, did I say twice? No. Steve Farr, Royals. Brian Holton, Orioles. Okay, got that right. Tommy Gregg of the Braves. And an Astros... Is that, that doesn't look like Nolan Ryan, though, does it? No, that's Mike Scott. I was going to say. That's not... And plus, I he wasn't even with the Astros in 90. Too bad. Uh, Neil Heaton of the Pirates. And our last card is a Jeff Kunkel of the Rangers. So, didn't finish off on the highest of notes, but I'm absolutely not complaining because I had a lot of fun sharing this with my friends. And I mean that. Uh, Sally's asking, what hat was he wearing? Uh, he's wearing a Chicago White Sox hat. C for White Sox. Let's see. There's his stats. Yeah. Don't know. The mystery remains. Call Sherlock Holmes in. Solve the mystery. All right, so let me set the upper deck cards aside. I'll leave my hits out here. Yeah, I gotta show Mr. Johnson off. He'll be the one. And I don't wanna cover up Donald's baseball, so I'll set him right there. Okay, so I've got these two packs left. Um, I really like the gallery cards. They're just aesthetically pleasing, so I'm gonna do that one last. I really have no idea what what is in a 2014 Donruss pack? I um, well, there's I guess that says Jose Abreu on the front. Um, so, but I don't know who the rookies are. I don't know what to expect out of this pack. I don't even know what these cards look like. I don't know if I've ever seen a 2014 Donruss. I'm sure I have, but. Oh, that's a pretty glossy cover to them there. Huh. All right, so let's go through these. 
Yep, Sally, these are 2014 Donruss. Uh, Nelson Cruz of Baltimore. Julio Teheran of Atlanta. You know, let me show you guys something that's interesting, and I've heard about this. <clears throat> Donald has talked about it on his channel. Um, okay, Alex, yeah, you saw... you. I did notice that, too. Oklahoma was spelled wrong. However, I'm sorry, I'll get back to the Donruss here in a second. But I'm wondering, Alex, that's a great point you brought up. I'm thinking they just spelled it wrong because there wasn't enough space. There's, there's just no room to put the whole name in there because even City had to chop the I out of it. So I think that was probably a deliberate spelling change to fit it in there. But good catch. Excellent I. Very good catch. Okay, so Donald's brought this up in his channel. Tops, uh, typically, and apparently he's back in 2014 as well, as well had the uh, rights to the Major League logos. So they had to be very careful with how did they identify the players and the teams. So you'll see here, it only says the name of the city, Baltimore. Well, there's no copyright for the, the city name. But you'll notice there's no logo printed on the card. There's no team name printed on the card. So then what do you do? Well, you look at the uniform to see the uniform he's wearing. Well, look at his uniform. Nothing. Then you look at the helmet. Nothing. So they had to air, what I guess airbrush or Photoshop those things out of the pictures. Same here with the Atlanta Braves. Atlanta, no Braves, and there's no logo on his hat. They had to take that off as well. Alex Wood of Atlanta. Again, no logos on the hat. Arizona D-backs. Finally get a D-back card, but you'd never know it's a D-back because look at his hat. Look at his jersey. Nothing on there that says Diamondbacks. Patrick Corbin of the Daybacks. Is that the same Corbin that pitches for uh, Washington? He was last night's starter. Does that uh, sound familiar to anybody out there? If you could just throw your answer in there, I'd appreciate it. I'm kind of curious. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm going to set these two cards aside anyway because they're Diamondbacks cards. I need to sort them separately. Uh, St. Louis. Again, no Cardinals logo. Madison Bumgarner of the Giants. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. So that is the starting pitcher from last night's game. Cool. Carlos Santana, the famous guitar... Oh, no, no, no. Wrong guy. I don't know. That joke never gets old. Dave Price of the Tampa Bay Rays. Do they even say the team on the back? They don't even give the team name. They have to give the city. Interesting. St. Louis Cardinals, Michael Waka. Waka, Waka, Waka. Matt Kane of the Giants. Garrett Cole, there you go. So he is now a starting pitcher for the Houston Astros in the series. So that's kind of cool. We've got two opposing World Series pitchers, um, both in this set, both on opposing teams. So there you go. Those two gentlemen are both in the World Series playing for different teams. <laughs> Fozzie strikes again. <laughs> I wondered if anybody would get that, Sally. I appreciate you, you knowing about that. Waka, waka, waka. That's funny. Oh, I got excited, guys. I saw the name Escobar, and I thought maybe 
it was Eduardo Escobar of the D-backs, but it's not. But this is still a beautiful card. Look at that. 62 career home runs. Yanel Escobar. Beautiful card. And an Alex Guerrero rookie card for the Dodgers. And the last card in this set is Cliff Lee, Diamond Kings card. All right, and let's open up the second half of this pack. Yeah, I, I grew up with them too, Sally. They just don't make children's television as innocent as they used to. And I don't even... I'll be honest with you, I don't think TV shows back in, in our day when we were kids were all that innocent. I think there were a lot of innuendos thrown in there that we didn't catch. But it's just gotten worse and worse over the years. Pretty sad, actually. I watched some of the programming with my granddaughter when she comes to visit. And the shows that are on the kids' channels for her are just atrocious. It's disgusting. Oh my word. Looky, looky, looky. Front card, Arizona Diamondback, Paul Goldschmidt. Of course, now he's with the Cardinals, but he's a Diamondback by heart. He, bloods, he bleeds Arizona red. That's a hit. I do PC Goldschmidt. That's a beautiful card. Awesome. Uh, Kenley Jansen of the Dodgers. Nick Castellanos of the Tigers. Justin Masterson of the Indians. Eric Johnson of the Chicago White Sox. Xander Bogarts of the Boston Red Sox. James Paxton of the Seattle Mariners. Padre Andrew Kashner. Oakland Jed Lowry. Carlos Gomez of the Brewers. Hey, 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 Mike Trout. Let me sleeve this one up. Not his rookie card, I don't think, or is it? It doesn't say rookie on the front. I don't know when Mike Trout's rookie year was. Anybody know? Anybody know? Primate's in the house. Primate, Primate, good to see you. Luke Jackson, welcome, welcome. Luke, I don't know. If I've got you on my sub list, I know I've got everybody in here so far, but Luke, I'm going to check on you. I'm, I was looking at my subscription list the other day and I don't remember seeing your name. Let me go into your channel real quick. While the rest of you just admire my dancing Mike Trout. See, I'm not dancing because I pulled him. He's dancing because he got pulled by me. See, he's just happy to be here. Uh, Luke, Luke, you're new. All right. Luke is new. Luke, you now have three subscribers. Good for you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. See, I'll set him over there. Uh, yeah, Alex, that's all they can do legally is put the city name and you just have to know um, from your own personal knowledge uh, what team they play for because all reference to the name and logos are, are airbrushed off the, the picture. So, all right, Luke's up to five now. Everybody jump on Luke's channel. Give him uh, some support. Jump on his bus. He is where we all have been. At the beginning, it's it's so important to get that initial uh, jump in subs. It's kind of like priming the pump. you got to get it started for him, so let's help him out. All right, Austin Jackson, 
of the Detroit Tigers. And here's a little special insert. Studio card, Robinson Cano of the Mariners. Uh, Travis De Arno of the Mets. That's a rookie card too. That's a beautiful card. And last but not least, a rated rookie, Eric, I'm sorry, Eric, Nick Martinez of the Texas Rangers. Um, sorry, I, I missed a bunch of... Okay, so 2011 was Trout's rookie? Okay. So not only does Don Russ not list the team name for legal reasons, uh, nor put the logos on the photos, but they only show what his the last year's stats. They don't show his entire career stats like Topps does. Because if you look at that, you'd say, well, this must be his rookie card because he's only got one year under his belt. So... Interesting. All right, good deal. So before I sign off, I do need to go take a nap. I am just wiped out. I do want to open this uh, 2018 clearance pack of uh, gallery. It says two exclusive canvas parallels inside. I have no idea what a canvas parallel is. Uh, but I'm assuming I'm going to find out here pretty soon. I just had to do that for effect. That eerie silence. <laughs> Sometimes silence is loud. Um, wow, right off the bat, Aaron Judge. Boom. Jose Abreu. Chris Taylor of the Dodgers. Adam Duvall of the Reds. So if I'm not mistaken, here's Whit Merrifield. These are all um, artist painted. Yeah, like they say art by so-and-so. So yeah, these are all like paintings. Oh, Bryce Harper. Oh, they missed, they missed a word. It's supposed to say former in front of Washington. They missed a word there. Bryce Harper, former Washington Nationals. Masterpiece card. He leaves... And they go to the World Series. I'll let you come to your own conclusion as to why that is. Uh, Rick Ankel. Ankiel. Ankiel. I don't know. Rick. Hey, there's a beautiful Carlos Correa of the Astros. Look at that card, guys. Look at that. I'm going to say this is one of those canvas inserts because there's two canvas inserts here. An Austin Meadows of the Pirates, but that is a beautiful card. The gold lettering. That is a beaut. Austin Meadows of the Pirates. That's a rookie card. Clayton Kershaw of the Dodgers. I actually pulled him out of the uh, 2019 gallery pack uh, a couple weeks ago. So I've got an 18 and 19 gallery card for him. Drew Smiley. See, there you go, Sally. Another Smiley. Smiley, Smiley. But he ain't smiling. And last card, an Aaron Nola for the Philadelphia Phillies. Those are some beautiful, beautiful cards. Like, those are the kind of cards you want to frame up and mount on the wall or something. Those were beautiful. Let me grab a swig of water here real quick. Uh, NZ Breaks says Sosa's birth date seems to be wrong. It should be November 12th. Uh, what do I do with it? Let's go back and find it. NZ 
It should be November 12th. And they have him born November 10th. That could be it. If, in fact, he was born on the 12th, that would be an error. Good call. Thank you, NZ. I, I can't even imagine what made you look at that, but I'm glad you did. You may have solved the mystery. So, let's see. We're coming. Now we're in 45 minutes, I think it is. So, let me turn the camera around and do a little sign-off here. Let's see. How do you turn this around? There we are. Uh, let me mount this better. All right. So, there I'm sporting my Arizona Diamondbacks hat. And it's not a D-back shirt, but it's D-backs colors. So, I love wearing this shirt. Matches the hat well. So, uh... Let's see anything. Google says November 12th. Okay. Good catch, NZ. Appreciate that. So I'm going to... Let's see. we got 12 watching. I'm going to bring this to a conclusion here in a second. But I just want to remind you guys of some important things. This morning, in fact, at, at church service, the pastor was talking about material possessions. And it really hit home because when he was talking about it, of course, I first thing I thought of was my baseball cards. You know... He also was preaching on idols and idol worship. And if we're not careful, these cards can become idols to us. We could start spending more time with the cards than we spend in the Bible and reading the Bible and the scriptures and studying God's word. And we need to really be careful with our priorities. Um, for, for those of you who don't know, I am a Baptist. I am a Christian. And I put Jesus Christ ahead of all things in my life. I am also a Baptist preacher. So I do have a little bit of experience in what I'm speaking on. And I just want to remind you guys that baseball cards are a wonderful thing. I do believe that they're allowed by God because it allows like-minded folks like ourselves to meet one another. If it weren't for these baseball cards, I wouldn't know Donald. I wouldn't know Sally. I wouldn't know Alex. I wouldn't know Mountain. I wouldn't know KB, Dearman, any of these guys. I wouldn't know any of you guys if it weren't for baseball cards. So I do believe that the Lord allows us certain things in life, materialistic things, because it's what we as humans use for connection. We connect with these cards. But at the end of the day, these are just pieces of cardboard with ink printed on them. That's all they are. And we take pride in the in possessing, possessing of them. And we need to be mindful of, that's okay, but we just need to be careful and not put it too high on our priority list. You know, don't, don't sacrifice time with your families. Don't sacrifice time with your friends. Don't sacrifice times at church or any other event or activity outside of this community. Um, these are just baseball cards, folks. I love them as much as you do, and I will continue to collect them. But I just, I need to keep myself in check every once in a while and remind myself this is not priority. But when you have time to spare, enjoy them. By all means, enjoy them. And I want to thank everybody for sharing this channel with me, watching, following along. This is going on an hour and 50 minutes. This is my longest stream yet. So for those of you who are still with me, I still got 12 uh, in the channel. Um, that's phenomenal. Uh, let's help each other grow. Let's help each other grow our channels. Because the more we grow, the more followers we get, the more people that we can reach out and meet. And again, the more people we can meet, the more people we can share our, our like-mindedness with so to speak. Um, we can share our beliefs. We can share our, our ideals. Uh, these are wonderful uh, opportunities that the Lord's given us to reach out and spread the gospel. And by all means, I hope to further his work through my baseball card channel. Uh, there's, it's no coincidence that the Lord has allowed me to do this and to meet you folks. And I just want to thank you for participating, for not bailing out on me, uh, for supporting me and supporting my channel. And I encourage you to support one another by all means, support one, each another, one another. The key to life is you reap what you sow. And if you want your channel to grow, if you want your... I'll, I'll, I'll use the word ministry because that's what we're all doing. We're using these channels to express our ideals to each other. If you want to build that opportunity, you have to build your followers. And the only way you can grow is by giving to others. It's a biblical principle. The more you give, the more you'll receive. But if you're in the mindset of gimme, 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 and you want, all you want is freebies and give me this and give me that, eventually people are going to stop giving and you're going to be all alone and you're not going to have much to show for it. But the more willing you are to give and give and give, 
the more you'll prosper, both physically and emotionally and spiritually. So I'll leave you with those little words of wisdom. I'm not here to preach to you today, but I did want to share some of those feelings with you. So I want to remind you guys, subscribe to everybody you can. Uh, like the videos if you can. After the stream is over, please go back into my live stream and just leave a comment for me. I promise I will respond. I reply to all comments that are left. And that's what we do. The YouTube analytic team, whoever works behind the scenes to YouTube, they monitor that stuff. They see what all you're doing on your channel, how much you're participating in not only your channel, but other people's channels. And you'll benefit by participating in other people's channels. Again, it's you reap what you sow. If YouTube sees that you're actively participating in other users' material and content, you will be rewarded. YouTube will find a way to, um, you won't, when they purge, you won't lose your subscriptions. If anyone's noticed that their subscription numbers drop every once in a while, it's because you're not participating enough in other people's channels. So you need to be actively helping out others and you will be rewarded for it. So again, help me out. I will help you out. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go take a nap before tonight's night service. I will see you all in the next live stream. I love you all. Thank you and God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.